Hello, welcome to Grandma Bee's Busy Life. I'm Brenda, and today is another discount shopping haul, and I am on the road today. I am in St. George, Utah. I am traveling for work today, and when I found out I was coming to St. George, Utah, I knew that I wanted to come to this discount store. I have never been here before, but I'm excited. So here's where I'm at. I'm at Boomer's Discount Market, and next door to that is the Habitat for Humanity Restore. So I'm going to go into both places and see what I can find. If you like discount shopping hauls, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, let's go into the store. These small cans of Starbucks coffee would be really nice because you could open a fresh pot every single time, which I love, and they were 50% off. So that would have made them $3 for eight half pots. The Special K bars were all 50% off, and the boxes I found were only $1.49. It's not only be 75 cents for the box, but they expired in August of 2020. These Hidden Valley Ranch dips were a great price, and I almost bought some, but then realized they expired in November of 2020. These Bell seasonings smelled really good. They smelled like Thanksgiving dinner, but I just didn't need any spices, and they were way expired. Kraft Mayo for $1.39, but also expired in October of 2020. So while this rolls through some of the pictures of the things I found, I do want to say I'm not 100% opposed to expired food, but it has to be really close for me to want to buy it. And everything I found was pretty well past its date. And I just got more and more discouraged as I went through the store. I actually only found one or two things that were not expired and they were very close to expiration, which doesn't bother me, but everything else was expired. They did have some non-food items, and the medicine was not expired, but it was within a month from being expired. So, I'm sure you can guess, I walked out of the store not buying a single thing. It was so disappointing to me. I don't think I've ever been in a discount store and not found something that I wanted. I decided to head next door to Habitat for Humanity's Restore. As soon as I walked in, I was excited to see there were tons and tons of books. I even found two vintage cookbooks, which is super exciting. And for as disappointing as the discount store was, this store was not disappointing. I found lots of cool things. This bowl was beautiful in person and it was only a dollar. This KitchenAid mixer Looked like it was in excellent condition and it was beautiful for $99. This freezer was not for sale, but oh my goodness, so cool. It has a tag on it. But wait till you see what's inside. Yeah, dirt. It's a garden. Ball jars. Hard to find these days, but they were there. Look how cool this set is. So cute. I found these letters that look like they go together, but I have no idea what they spell. Bonus points to anyone who can come up with a word using all or most of these letters. This little desk and end table was so cute. I wanted to buy it so bad, I just wasn't sure how I was going to get it home all the way from St. George to my house. And it was $79, so had it been in my hometown, I probably would have bought it. This bed was amazing. The detail in the wood carving was unbelievable. There were dragons and serpents and things all over it. And all of the other part of it is a really soft leather. It was gorgeous. I couldn't find a price on it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure I can't afford it. <laughs> it was definitely out of my price range. These bins had tons of little trinkets in them, but I don't want the trinkets. I wanted the bins to store all my craft stuff in. 
there were several rows full of home improvement items, things you would find it at like Home Depot, plumbing and paint and lighting and lumber, all kinds of stuff. And there were these mystery boxes that I was very tempted to try, but they've got them boxed up so good you cannot tell at all what's inside of them, so I didn't buy one. All of the money earned from this store goes to Habitat for Humanity, and they build homes for families that aren't able to do it on their own. Inside the store, they have one wall framed that is the a wall that will be going into the next home that they're building and they put a little information about the family with the wall and then they give you the option to donate five dollars and then you can sign the walls that will actually go inside these people's home when i saw this i knew right away i wanted to do it how cool is it to give some encouraging words to a family that is working hard to make their future better and then these walls will be in their home. I was touched, it wasn't even my wall, and I was so touched by all the messages that were on here. So I did pay the $5 and I added a message to the wall myself. And this is my message, it says, Shannon and kids, how exciting to get your home. Stand tall and strong like the walls of your home. Love, Grandma B. So I guess you could say the discount shopping was a fail. But this Habitat for Humanity Restore was so fun to look through and so rewarding to be able to help a family build a home. So all in all, I guess it was a success. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. I'll put a link to the Habitat for Humanity's website in my description box below. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon.